Hello everybody, today we have beautiful gaming laptop, Asus Republic of Gamers Zephyrus G14 GA401 model. It's an AMD Ryzen 9 6, 5th gen with RTX 3060 graphics. Let's take it apart, let's see what we can fix, replace or upgrade. Let's start. Start with all the bottom screws. Now we have to separate the bottom from the palmers, so find the cap, gap between the two parts, use plastic tool and work your way around the edge to unpack the clips that are holding the bottom parts. And this is how we take it out. Here we have the part number. Now we can see all the internal components. So always start with disconnecting the battery. Slide down this metal part. And now we can release the battery. Now take out all the screws. And that's how you take it out. So if your battery is swollen or doesn't hold the charge, that's the time to replace it. Here we have the model number. Okay, now we can take out our memory. So if you spread those arms, that's our RAM memory. You can replace it if it doesn't work or you could upgrade to the bigger one. Now let's see speakers. So if you have a bad sound, you can replace your speakers. Unplug it here from the motherboard. And both speakers are connected and this is how we take them out here we have the part number now here our here we have our wi-fi card if your wi-fi doesn't work you can replace it gently disconnect antenna wires and screw the screw on the top. And that's how you pull it out. You have the model number. Here we should have our storage. That's the NVMe SSD drive. This laptop is missing the drive, but you could replace it if it doesn't work, or you can replace it if you would like to upgrade to the higher one, to the bigger one. Okay, now we are taking out the fan heatsink assembly. So if your fans are making grinding noise, or they are clogged like these, and they don't work anymore, that's the time to replace it. So here we have the video cable. It's routed through the heatsink, so unplug it. Now take out all the screws.
Make sure the antenna wires aren't in our way. Okay. So now to leave the heatsink, it may be stuck to the processor or the graphics card because of the cooling paste. So be very gentle. Don't bend it. If you bend it, it won't work anymore. Yeah, and this one is stuck. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's coming off. So don't bend it, remember. All right, now we can unplug our fans. Also, this is our heatsink fan assembly. Here we have part numbers. Here we can see processor and the graphics card. They both soldered on the motherboard, so if they don't work, you have to replace the whole board. So now we are pulling the whole board. So disconnect all the remaining connectors for the keyboard. And I will always close the connector to, to avoid accidentally breaking this off, be very fragile. Let's see, that's our CMOS battery. I will keep it with the board. Maybe it's not healthy. how we take out the motherboard and here we have sh we should have the part number let's see oh it's right here okay now we have access to our, our palm rest keyboard assembly let's disconnect it from the screen Now gently unfold the palm rest. And now we can take out the palm rest touchpad. Let's see if we can take out the touchpad. In case if your touchpad doesn't work, yes, you can take it out. Take out these three screws. Now make sure there are no cables routed through the touch point. And let's see, this is how we take it out. Here we have the part number. Keyboard is held by these tiny screws. So you can replace the keyboard if you would like to, or you could look for the whole palm, palm rest keyboard assembly, usually sold in one piece. If you need parts, check gutlaptopparts.com. And that's our screen. Very fragile. If you try to pull it out, you are risking breaking it. So usually sold in one piece. Here we have the part number, model number. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.